I got to show you guys this because rest in peace, Bob Newhart, fantastic dry comedian. I never really understood him as a kid because it all just went like way over my head. I remember my parents and I would watch that show with Daryl and my other brother, Daryl, my other brother, Daryl. Do you remember he, like, he ran an inn in Vermont or something? Anyway, all of the humor used to go pretty much over my head. But as an adult, I've learned to really appreciate it. And this clip is fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. So this is Bob Newhart in a little skit. And basically, he totally sums up the insane wokeness of the left and just slices it right in half. Slice and dice it all day long. I love it. Take a peek. Uh, Dr. Switzer? Uh, yes, C come in. I'm just, just washing my hands. Uh, I'm Catherine Bigman. Janet Carlisle referred me. Oh, yes. Uh, still being uh, buried alive in a box. Yes. Yes, that's me. <laughs> Should I lay down? Oh, no, no, no. We don't, we don't do that anymore. Just, just have a seat. And uh, let, let me uh, tell you a, a bit about our, our billing. I, um, I charge $5 for the, for the first five minutes. And, and then absolutely nothing after that. How, how, how does that sound? <laughs> that sounds great. <laughs> Too good to be true, as a matter of fact. <laughs> well, I can I can almost guarantee you that that our session won't last the full uh, the full five minutes. Now, um, <laughs> we don't do any insurance billing, so you would either have to pay in in cash or by check. <clears throat> wow. Okay. And uh, and I I don't make change. <laughs> All right. <laughs> and go. <laughs> go. Well, tell what? me, tell me about the problem that you wish to address. Oh, okay. Uh, well, I have this fear of being buried alive in a box. <laughs> I just, I start thinking about being buried alive, and I begin to panic. Has, has, has anyone ever ever tried to to bury you alive in a box? No, no. But truly, thinking about it does make my life horrible. I mean, I can't go through tunnels or be in an elevator or in a house, anything boxy. So what what you're saying is you're uh, you're claustrophobic. Uh, yes, yes, that's it. All right. Well, uh, let's go, Catherine. I'm. Uh, I'm going to uh, say two words to you right now. I, I want you to listen to them very, very carefully. Then I want you to take them out of the office with you and incorporate them in into your life. Well, shall I uh, write them down? Well, it, if it makes you comfortable, it's just two words. Most we find most people can uh, can remember them. <laughs> okay. You ready? Yes. Okay. Here, here they are. Stop it! <laughs> Stop it? Yes. S-T-O-P, new word, I-T. So, what are you saying? <laughs> you, you know, it's funny. I, I, I say two simple words, and I cannot tell you the amount of people who say exactly the same thing you're saying. I mean, this, you know, this is not Yiddish, Catherine. This is English. Stop it. So, I should just stop it. There you go. I mean, you... you, you you don't want to go through life being scared of being buried alive in a box, do you? I mean, that sounds, sounds frightening. <laughs> yes. Then stop it! I, I can't. I mean, it's been with me no, since no, no, childhood. No, no, no. No, we, 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 we don't go there. Just, just stop. So I should just stop being afraid of being buried alive in a box. You got it. Good go. Well, it's only been... It's only been three minutes, so that will be um, uh, three dollars. Uh, I, I only have a five, so. Well, I, I don't, I don't make change. Then I, I guess I'll take the full five minutes. Fine. All right. Well, what other uh, problems would you would you like to address? <clears throat> uh, I'm bulimic. I stick my fingers down my throat. Stop it. <laughs> Not of some kind? Don't, don't do that. 
but I, I'm compelled to. My mom used to call me. No, 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 no. No, we did, we don't go there. But I've been having this dream. No, we don't go there either. But my horoscope did say. We definitely don't go there. Just, <laughs> just stop it. What, what, what else? <clears throat> well, I have self-destructive relationships with men. Stop it. <laughs> You, you want to be with a man, don't you? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, yes. Well, then stop it. <laughs> don't be such a big baby. I wash my hands a lot. That's all right. It is? I, I wash my hands all the time. There's a lot of germs out there. Uh-huh. Yeah, don't, don't, uh, don't worry about that one. <laughs> I'm afraid to drive. Well, stop it! <laughs> How are you going to get around? Get in the car and drive, you, you kook. Stop it! You stop it! You stop it! What's, what's the problem, Kathy? I, I don't like this. I don't like this therapy at all. You're just telling me to stop it. And, and, you, and you, don't, you don't like that? No, I don't. So you think we're... We're moving too fast, is that it? Yes. Yes, I do. All right, then let me, uh, let me uh, give you ten words that I, I think will uh, clear everything up for you. Uh, you, want, you want to get a pad and a pencil for this one? All right. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. All right, here are the ten words. Stop it or I'll bury you alive in a box! <laughs> Wow, he was fantastic and clearly ahead of his time, right? <laughs> Just stop it, okay? That's what you want to say to all these sort of woke crazies out there with, with all the, you know, at some point you just got to suck it up and stop it. Anyway, Bob Newhart. Uh, rest in peace. I just wanted to show you that clip because I came across it on the internet as news broke, of course, that he had passed away.